Bite him right between the yeah. eyes. Dingo howling. There we go, there we go. <laughs> Welcome back to a new episode, guys. This one is something a little bit different. We, Fran and I, are off doing a survival challenge. How about choice? <laughs> Fred is totally opposed to the idea. As you can see, it's scorching hot. And I'm like, hey, let's go out. No food, no water, no shelter, no nothing. Let's see if we can survive. Are you up for it? No. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna do it, guys. And I've allowed Fran and myself one weapon each. So we've got one knife each, but that is the extent of it. So yeah. the biggest challenge on this coastline is, like, it's just so savage and harsh that there is no water to be found, or we're gonna have to do our best to find some. Hunting is going to be challenging, but this bitch is eating us alive. We really like wanted to legit push ourselves out of our comfort comfort zone and see if we can complete this challenge. Are you excited? <laughs> you want it? Friends, not up for it. I hope you guys enjoy this a lot more than what we do. Let's go. So, what's the plan? Oh, I think first of all, we'll go for a big walk. We got sort of a fair bit to explore and see yeah. if we can find anything that's going to be useful in our cause. Yeah. And then, of course, we need to get water. We're going to need to make a fire. <laughs> and we're going to need to get shelter and something to eat. Yeah. How's the survival challenge going? Pretty relaxing. <laughs> <laughs> it's not really that. It's not really uh, as dramatic as I thought. Just uh, take a break. <laughs> Doing your best to survive. <laughs> yeah. You've got to stay relaxed on these survival challenges. <laughs> That's where Castaway went wrong. He was stressing out. He was being <laughs> frolicking around. Have you All found right. any bush tucker? Let's go. Okay. Someone's done himself a mischief here. That could come in handy. There we go. We've got a hand line. Probably got like five meters of line here, which might be enough to catch something off the rock. Thankfully for us, there's been a, a big blow of wind that's washed a lot of things up on the beach. Oh yeah, here's all the, look at these bait fish here. That's what the squid are generally in chasing their hardy head, about that big. Little just here. Can you guys see that? Look at him, he's just under the water here. That's awesome. Just a medium sized green turtle. You'd just be cruising along here looking for a bit of a feed, bit of seagrass. Oh, there's a big one out the back. Now, if I'd have a spear, you can't miss there. I'd be able to nail one of them for sure. They all look like grunter to me, but that hole along the bottom there is all fish. They're only about that big. Where's the squid at? It's not looking good, just gonna have a bit of a cast and hope. No luck. Boy, we gotta get some water, friend. It's so hot. All right, Jack just went and see if he can find a stingray for dinner and the hottest hour of the day so I'm gonna try and get some water out of this but I'm going for a swim first We're not the only ones on the hunt here. Check out this little sea snake. Just sticking his head down all those little holes looking for prawns and shrimps. Hey, 
they are more venomous than any land snake, so even though they're quite passive, you do have to watch out for them. Walking at the back of the mangroves here with a high tide, you can see it's nice clean water. This is generally a, a good spot to look for stingrays or shovel nose rays, but and that's about all I'm limited to getting with this makeshift spear at the moment. Something here has been snacking on these conch shells. Look at this. It's like a resting place for giant conches. The shovel nose there. It's a heap of good food there for us if I can get him. Spear being so buoyant, I need to hit him right in the shallows. Just trying to sneak up on him. Oh, fuck. Just want him to stay still. That would have been a beauty for dinner. Ah, uh, they're a bit too shy. Oh, he's on the move. They're just staying out of my reach. The bigger ones are staying too deep here. So he's off. Too small, too small, too small. As soon as I get close enough, I'm gonna go this one. Oh. Missed one too many shovel nose ray. Oh, hello. How are you going? How did you go? Oh, jeez, it's hot. So the hunting has been unsuccessful thus far, but we found some good stuff on the beach. What do you think? It's all right, friend. And even just being there for a couple of minutes, like it's so hot, radiating heat, and all these green leaves, like they're Condensation's getting sapped out of them and already you can see like little little um, bits of evaporation. So oh, I've just found the ultimate whiting migration. Holy moly. All right, time to attempt to start a fire. Friend? <clears throat> so we're gonna have a bit of a challenge. Fran v myself. What's your approach, Fran? I think it's working. <laughs> so we're gonna go, a light bulb that Fran found on the beach washed up. Quite often these guys are on the high tide line. Um, and Fran's gonna go, glasses, eh? <laughs> yeah. All right, let's see how we go. This could take a while. <laughs> you having any luck? Are you? Can Let me try a friction fire. Oh, we've got a bit of smoke. Is he going to go? There we go. There we go. 
Better than the light bulb. <laughs> Friend's science experiment isn't quite working the way she'd hoped. <laughs> it will. Oh, Jack, quick, mine is going as well. Need help. Uh huh. Quick. Yeah? Yeah. Really? Yeah. What? 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 The light bulb worked, eh? Ta-da! For our science experiment. How long did that take? About 30 minutes? Yeah. Good job. Did you cheat? No. <laughs> did you cheat? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, I got so excited for you. <laughs> You're a cheat. <laughs> How's it looking, Fran? It's looking wet. <laughs> it is looking super wet, eh? It's dripping with but water, eh? Look I at don't that. think it's gonna be much. Are we gonna Time have to Time for the big reveal? All this one. Are you confident? Or? <laughs> Not really. You got Eddie Pay? Yeah. Yeah, look how much. Yeah, don't waste anything. No, I'm getting it all in there. Oh, nice. It's gonna be hot off. Oh, that's a fair bit, Fran. Look at that. It's a little bit of sand. A little bit of sand. And it stinks. How is it? Tastes like mangroves. Tastes like mangroves? <laughs> but it's fresh water, right? Yeah. What the? You're wasting so much. Oh, there's heaps in there. Mission success, guys. We have managed to... Yeah, one glass of water for Collect the water. Day. No, look at that. That's pretty good. For a passive way to to get drinking water. Yeah, but we're not going to survive on this. <laughs> yeah, we are. They've all changed colours. Good news we got. <laughs> <laughs> What's the good news, friend? Good news we got fire. Mm -hmm. We got a tiny bit of water. Yeah, just enough. Just enough to survive today. But what are we missing? We're missing food. All right, and how are we going to catch food? Uh, with your spear or food? Yeah, so I guess that's the afternoon mission, guys. We're going to go for a hunt and get some food because at this stage we've got bugger all. <laughs> yeah, and? Uh, and what? I'm going to make a shelter for tonight. Okay, yeah, shelter and food is this afternoon's yep. mission. Of course, you guys are coming along for the ride. Walking through the mangroves looking to see if we can find any mud crabs at the base of these trees or oysters. Yeah, we'll probably just take this whole rock back to camp. See, there's some good oysters on here actually. Oh, there's an octopus, Fran. Yeah, we need it. We need to eat. Sorry, mate, but we need to eat tonight. We got octopus for dinner, friend. Good job. That's it. put some out of their misery. It's the most humane way. So what did you do exactly? So you got to bite him right between the eyes, and um, yeah, that puts him to sleep. So guys, we're gonna have octopus for dinner. As you can kind of tell, Fran and I are a little bit reluctant to do this just because we we love we love octopus, but you know they're a you know a sustainable fishery just like anything else out here so that's going to be a beautiful feed for for dinner tonight friend yeah all right it's nearing the end of the day and we feel we're a little light on for food and for shelter um so we don't have time for both so friend you're gonna stay here build us a house yeah Cool. We're gonna go 
catch some. And I'm going to go do my best to catch a little bit more. So yep. it's a bit of a hike down that way, but there's some mangroves way down yonder. I'm going to go for a bit of a jog and see yonder. what we can find. But that's them. And what are you going to build? This? You're going to turn that into a house? Yeah. All right. See you in a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Don't high five yet. Generally a pretty horrible place to be walking, especially on sunset with the midges. Just going to get eaten alive here. But we'll see how we, we need to find a feed. A big hole for something down here. Take what we can get at this stage. Bivalve, that'll go. All right now, a bit of a, a seafood mixed boil up. Jeez, I'm getting eaten hey. alive here. Look at that. These are a super, super rare type of shell. Fran is gonna be beside herself. I can hear dingo howling and look what I found. Look what Fran's made. That's incredible, Fran. And guess what I got? No, I, I wish I got a crab. Put it out, close your eyes, put out your hand. Tell me it's not mud muscles, please. <laughs> what you've always wanted, put out your hand. Tell me it's not mud muscle. No, it's not. Put it it's out your head. It's not a crab, is it? Nah, it won't bite. Oh, what? Yeah, how cool is that? What, what are they called? Yeah, in Latin it's called something like Morex. Oh, yeah, so Morex it, shell. Yeah. Wow, pretty cool, eh? So cool. I don't think we can eat it, but I also got... Mud muscles. <laughs> I know how much you love mud muscles. I got a close relative oh, of no. a mud muscle, a bivalve. But that'd be good. We'll boil him up with the octopus. It's boil this up with the octopus. It's good to scratch my mosquito. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is pretty amazing, Fran. I love what you've done with the place. <laughs> I need to get more sticks. <laughs> Alright, so where's the fire going to go? We'll move it from the other place. Here. Alright, dingo proof <laughs> shelter. Oh, you got some plants. Yeah. <laughs> so earthy. Come on, come on, come on. And we're up. Pretty sure that we're gonna start the cook up, um, which is very exciting. Going in. Put these bivalves in as well. getting somewhere squid is boiling and entree is ready these oysters have just popped open uh -huh. this is what they're meant to do like and then this is a beautiful smoked oyster entree Yum. slippery sucker eh I think it's well done. Yeah, it's perfect. <laughs> no, I don't think yeah, so. Yeah, it's well done. I don't think it's well done. Done, Fran. I'll just leave him five minutes to cool down, eh? And then we'll get into it. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. That looks good. Perfect. We're going to do a bit of a seafood buffet, eh? Yeah. Nice. You just got two? Yeah, one each. <laughs> I think it's perfect. Yeah, nice. 
Oh, we have a big one. Oh, my God. Yeah. It's not chewy at all, eh? It's like a bit of texture, but not not too chewy. That's actually... I'm happy with that, Fran. Oh, the mud muscle is so nice. It's really good, eh? Hmm. That's really nice as well. Really? I could do with about another two dozen of them. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go with it. All right. Thanks for watching this. Yeah. Thanks for watching the episode, guys. We hope you enjoyed it. Um, something a little bit different. We, it was, we wanted to actually do like a legit challenge. Not just to share it with you guys, but actually challenge ourselves whether, see whether we could get food, could get water, and um, could sort of survive out here. So we're about to run out of batteries, so we'll be quick. But thank you very much for watching. Yeah, thanks for watching. G'day, G'day everyone. everyone. <laughs> we just wanted to say quickly that Jack and I designed our 2022 limited edition calendar. We sure have. Yeah, we put so much effort and love into it. Yep. Yeah. Especially you. <laughs> That's right guys, and you at home can now pre-order your limited edition calendar. The photos are from season one and season two of The Great Adventure, which you guys are yet to see, but it's coming very soon. Yeah. Um, there's some pretty cool things in the calendar. There's like, Fran has shared marine biology facts about the interesting things in the photos. We've also shared some locations. I know you guys are always pestering us for that. So, locations of the shots. Um, Yes, yeah, so a pre-order now. We'll leave the, the link here or in the description and get on it. Okay. And anything made out of it is going to go towards the fuel and the boat repairs that the salty dingo yes. we There's, all will need. <laughs> yeah, you guys will see why we yeah. need <laughs> so many boat repairs in season two. But that's coming soon, so sit tight. Please order your calendar if you'd like one. If not, enjoy the future episodes. They're coming very soon. Thanks, <laughs> see guys. See you guys. Really appreciate it. Thank you.